got me a little sugar buggers. Welcome back to the channel for 10 mods I bet you didn't know about. Okay, let me set the record straight. There is a chance that you actually might know of some of these mods, but I did not know about 80% of these mods up until yesterday. And let me just explain this to you really freaking quick. They are ultimate freaking game changers. I genuinely believe that they make the game that much more realistic and enjoyable. Obviously, there's a couple sprinkled in here that you probably don't necessarily need, but I thought were pretty cool, so I wanted to go ahead and share them with you. So for the very first mod that I have to share, Share with you guys it is the ability to be able to bake cupcakes in the freaking oven i honestly don't know why the sims team made it so we could only bake cupcakes in the cupcake machine i don't know if you guys have ever used that bad boy but it's literally the size of a freaking football field like i don't know who is busting out a whole freaking cupcake machine to be able to bake some damn cupcakes you know what i mean um so the cool thing about this mod is it comes in two different versions a version where you need the ingredients to be able to bake said cupcakes cupcakes or a version where you can just pay the fee to be able to make them yourself. So that's the version I actually have installed today. Now, did I mention that this mod also makes it so that the chocolate cake and all the other baked goods are in their appropriate category? Usually when I am baking a cake for my Sims's birthday or whatever special occasion, I have to go through the cook menu, the cook skill. Nope, everything gets transferred over to the baking skill. I'm so freaking grateful for this because it just never made any sense to me personally to have to go through the cook menu to bake a chocolate cake. Maybe that's me. Call me crazy. I honestly don't care, but I love the fact that you're able to do this. So we're going to have our sim go ahead and whip up a fresh batch of vanilla cupcakes. And then uh, kind of speaking on the whole, you know, cooking thing, stove, whatever. Um, I actually have another mod for you guys. And because my sim doesn't really know a lot when it comes to alchemy I can't really show you but um, this mod here allows your sims to be able to brew alchemy potions on the stove obviously if she had some she knew of she'd be able to do that or you could actually go and do it on the grill too so if you wanted to um, you know impress your neighbors versus using like the cauldron another funny little thing that I came across was Fortnite dances okay the reason why I like this is because because, well, your Sims have access to over 50 dance animations. I am not even kidding. And when they're done dancing, you guys, they actually get a plus two confident moodlet. So I'm going to have my Sim go and play around with the disco fever. See, this is why I really like this. Look at her. She is busting it on down. Um, I like this because I also feel... Like in the future, maybe some people would be down for making their own like customized dances, you know? I don't know. I think it'd be cool to maybe like earn. Um, she's earning some type of skill. I don't know if it's like fitness or something, but no, she actually earns the dance skill by doing this. That is actually really freaking cool. So it's not some silly little, you know, animation that she's doing. Like it actually serves a purpose. And she can also do uh, a little crisscross here. And I feel like the animations are very fluid. I love it. These. I love these so much, especially for like um, machinimas, things like that. Now I think she's going to move in to, I want to say the boneless. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. She's, she's uh, really breaking her rig there. But um, yeah, you get the point. I like it. Anyway, uh, let me go and see some of the moodlets she has. Oh, she has step up. Nailed it. Completing the dance move flawlessly definitely feels great. And now she is in a super duper confident mood. So the next mod I have, I actually came across by accident. It is a functional item. So if you guys aren't into functional items, then this might not be for you. But this mod is seriously so Frickin cool. It comes in so many different variations like you can use this in so many different ways It is the functional solar panels. I do believe in the last edition of island living I actually was telling you guys how badly I wish we had functional um, Solar panels. I must have like spoken that into existence because now we can have Aldonis live off the grid and have it actually make sense So you can use these solar panels here to uh, include a discount on your bills so if 
you wanted your sims to not live off the grid but maybe be a little more eco-conscious this would be great for you because every solar panel that you put down actually takes a percentage off of your weekly bills now obviously if you were off the grid um, you would need to place down a certain amount of these to be able to restore power because obviously you are completely relying on the solar panels to you know whatever power your house so you um, can select from four different difficulties you can get normal all the way to super hard the only thing that is going to change is like how many solar panels you have to put down to live off the grid or um, how many that you need to use to get a percent a certain like percentage you know off your bills or whatever um, so say I wanted to have my sim live completely off the grid so that means we turn it on um, that should turn off my light so we are completely in the freaking dark uh, because I do have the normal um, normal intensity on or the normal difficulty I guess I would need to put down a total okay of eight of these bad boys to be able just to turn on the power but the cool thing about this mod is that it actually um, has a water heater too so even just by putting these down I don't actually re-establish hot water I only just turn on the power and so I just need one more and I'm pretty sure we I must have eight because one two three four five six seven eight okay um so that was way more than I needed but watch 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 okay so with eight I have the power and then it takes a couple seconds but without eight the power will be off you guys saw that it did turn that it did turn on um with the eight uh, solar panels there so anyway there we go we have eight solar panels on our lot right now and we should have um power so if i was to go and take a shower i can't because plumbing doesn't work off the grid right i don't have the ability um to have hot water running so all that i would need to do now uh is go and select that water heater that comes a part of this two pack this is seriously so freaking cool. So maybe you wanted your sims to live, you know, off the grid, but only solar power and so plumbing didn't work. Then, you know, you could just use the solar panels. But if you wanted your plumbing to work, then you guys would just install the water heater. Isn't that cool? I don't know. I thought it was really cool. Just a quick heads up. I'm sure it goes without saying, but I will be linking all of the mods that I'm talking about here today on my website at xurbansimsx.com. The link will be in the description. And just in case I do accidentally forget to mention something I highly suggest that you go back and check out the notes on these mods obviously via the creators page just in case there's like a little a little Easter egg that I might have accidentally glanced over um so this next mod is probably my freaking favorite out of the bunch and for so many stinking freaking reasons it is craftable okay pottery you guys craftable pottery that means this little clay thing here you are now able to make so many amazing creations that you can sell at the flea market you can also um, do things with them and it only costs your sims 25 simoleons to buy this little pottery blob now this pottery blob does not actually overwrite the in-game pottery blob so they are completely separate enti entities if you did for whatever reason want to like build um, a house and you wanted it to be CC free but you wanted to use the clay this is completely different it does not affect the in-game game mm uh blob at all whatsoever so the cool thing about this bad boy is again there are i think four different craftable items your sims will need to be able to meet certain criteria to be able to make each individual item so if you wanted to go and um i think craft a small plate you don't need any skills if you wanted to make the cup it only requires level i think two of the handiness skill and so on and so forth i think the max that you need is like level three or something so it's not like super duper hard to do or anything but i think it's really cute and you guys and um <laughs> my sim here she actually made one of these little vases or vases however you would like to call it and they are actually functional so when your sim makes the vase she can like sell them um or you can sell them at the flea market this one goes for 35 simoleons but say you had some flowers growing in the back of your garden or maybe your sweetie gave you a rose you can actually take that flower that they gave you or that you've been growing in your garden and put it you guys 
in your freaking vase. Literally, my jaw dropped to the ground, like to the freaking ground. And I guess with plates and stuff, you can add candles. You could also put plants on them. Um, so we have Rebecca over here. She's actually making a thing. I think she's making a small plate, but you could also stack the cups. So yeah, she's making a cup and then she's going to make a plate. And I think that is so cool. So they're they're functional. They're they're, de they're decor items and you can display them around your house. I think um, kids can even use them, which is really cool. So there is her little craftable cup and her vase isn't that so cool I actually saw this mod like a really long time ago and I was gonna do a whole video on it but I just never got around to it um and you know I, I don't know why I've been sleeping on it and so um if for whatever reason your sim is really early on the handiness skill hasn't had a lot of experience with making pottery this can happen unfortunately you'll just kind of get like dried out crumbles of clay which is unfortunate but it does happen um and right now she is I guess thinking about how she's making her her plate and it's cool because as you guys can see she's getting very appropriate moodlets above her head thinking about what she is creating and about how hard it was and I think she is just about done and I love that it shows you like in the the info center new item Rebecca's efforts at molding the blob have been crowned with a success a new item is in her inventory one small plate and as you guys can see this is the small plate that Rebecca Becca had created no these items are not recolorable um but you know it doesn't need to be obviously your sim handcrafted it right so I mean they're just they're just for decor but I think it's really cute I personally love it a lot I'm wondering if this is something you could like give as a gift even I'm actually really curious <laughs> my sim has passed the f out and this is due to the kawaii stacy mod which I love by the way but like there's just some things in it like um the, the self woohoo all the freaking time and the falling on the floor for no apparent reason those two things I, I gotta take out because it is just happening way too frequently so just out of sheer curiosity um I do want to see if our sim was it to come over and give a, a gift if it was possible to be able to give the handmade cup that is it I am freaking sold so you can even gift these items if you would like perfect for Christmas like I said birthdays anniversaries uh, all that kind of fun stuff speaking of which okay um it's a little late to do this but I might just try it anyway family reunion event oh my god it costs 50 freaking dollars but I think it's perfect because it gives your sims the ability to be able to like get their family together um and have everybody under one house and just celebrate the essence of being together so I'm gonna actually have my sim here uh, what's her name again? Kaylin. She's going to go and host a family reunion. So it just works as any other social event. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, but again, $50 for your Sims to partake. So family reunion. It isn't a gold event. It's very simple, straightforward. It says, miss your family. Reuni reunite close or extended family members for this event. Catch up on what you've been missing from family members. Don't forget the family hugs and avoid the one relative who drives you crazy. Um, unfortunately, our family literally only has like one um, one one family member that I can invite. But you can also invite other people in your household. It looks like you don't necessarily have to invite just family. You can also invite friends. So it can be a reunion of any kind. It doesn't necessarily just have to be family members. So Lonnie um, is actually our Sim Kaylin's uh, father. So I guess Rebecca's grandfather. So we're going to invite him over and it says two required. I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed or the brightest crayon in the box, but I'm pretty freaking positive that is three people. But you know what? I'm going to go with it. It's totally fine. We're going to go ahead and move on. We're going to have it here at our residence. And there we go. So it doesn't actually give us um, goals, obviously, because it isn't a goal, a gold event. But, you know, I like it. I like the fact that, you know, you just have this little this little moment where you're, you're, you're going to be together as a family. Um, I can't remember for the life of me where the front door is but everybody seems to show up and I don't know I just think it's cute just to have that 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 tag you know and then also you can recount funniest scene you can like well if you're I guess maybe famous or something I don't know enthused about movie I have no idea what this is from oh wait she was watching TV gotcha so you can thank for coming you know and you can go um and spend time hug ask about you know children da -da 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 -da. all sorts of just you know basic I guess <laughs> ask for wonderful pill apparently this kid is uh, <laughs> popular even though he's like grandpa smooth skins you know he's a platinum
and pop up. But yeah, very basic, nothing too crazy. Um, but the next mod I have is a game changer. It's an absolute freaking game changer. I mean, as if, you know, being able to create your own pottery wasn't cool. Uh, how about having homework that allows you to actually choose what subject you want to study? Does that interest you any? Well, it definitely interests me. Now, Sims can pick what it is that they would like to learn. So you're not just like, you know, studying your homework for no reason. You are learning individualized subjects. Her hand is stuck from playing with the clay. So just ignore that. Um, I'm pretty sure if I like I reset her or whatever. It would fix that. But this is also um, available for, for children as well. It's really cool because they too can pick what kind of like a subject they want to learn. Now, I'm not sure what the heck is happening. I'm going to try this again. We're going to try to do the art analysis, which basically gives her the painting skill. Isn't that crazy? So let's take a little look here. We can write fitness articles. We can study sociology. We can also discuss music theory, uh, algebra, expressions, research, astronomy, all sorts of different things or if you wanted to keep it simple and you didn't want to, have to choose of course um you can just do homework and it's different for the kids obviously because i think their skills are a little bit different and what they can comprehend but i thought this was so like genius like why isn't this a thing i feel like this to me just makes everything feel a little more realistic and the fact that she's actually learning those skills is pretty freaking amazing so the next mod that i have to share with you sim city loans 2.0 so this is the second version of the mod I didn't even see the first one at least to my knowledge and basically what it allows your sims to do is take out loans on their computer I have been in a pinch so many times to the point where I've actually cheated just because there's no repercussion like what else am I left to do um and I feel like loans should definitely be in the game they're in a lot of games that are kind of like sandboxy such as like planet zoo roller coaster tycoon all of those types of games so for me I feel like it's very it's very like you know it's a no-brainer to have this type of thing um in a game so the second edition introduces late fees and it says once you receive the loan payment overdue buff a five percent late fee five percent of your payment will be deducted shortly after after that they will be deducted about every 24 hours until your sim makes a payment if your sim is at work the late fees will be deducted shortly after they get home if you don't have enough simoleons the late fee will deduct when you do so as you guys can see um there are repercussions for not not paying this loan it's not some sort of like oh you know I owe you like you will be held responsible for your payments um and then there's like some fixes and all that jazz and then these are like these sums that you can take out so it says your sims can now apply for loans from sim city bank when your sim, sim needs a loan have them click on the computer and select sim city loan from there you will select which loan amount you want and it says once you select the loan amount your sim will receive a loan packet in their inventory which isn't deletable your sim will then be responsible for paying it when you repay the loan you have two options repay in full with no interest to make 12 24 or 36 payments which include a five percent interest rate here is a little picture of the loan packet and it says if your sim doesn't make a payment in full within 48 hours he she will receive a loan payment due fine mood buff if your sim ignores the buff for 24 hours this buff will turn into a loan payment overdue stressful mood buff the only way to remove this is to make a pay uh, is to make a payment or pay in full so these are kind of like samples of what could happen to your sim um it says if your debitor dies the loan packet will be sent to the household inventory and it's still not deletable after you place it on your lot another house uh, household sim uh can use the takeover loan interaction this will add the loan packet to that sim's inventory and then they will be responsible don't worry any payments that the deceased sim made won't be lost if the debitor dies and gets added back to the household either as a ghost or resurrected they won't have the loan packet anymore obviously however they can't take out a loan they'll have to use the computer uh click on sim city loans request loan forgiveness Ooh, which will cost 1000 simoleons then after sim uh, three sim days they can apply for a loan 
if needed. Additional information, SIMS can only have one active loan at a time. However, once your SIM pays off the loan, you can click on the loan packet and select destroy. Your SIM can then take out a loan if desired. The loan packet is not draggable. This was done on purpose to keep it in your SIMS inventory for needed buffs and interaction availability. It's also not deletable for obvious reasons. No skid it's no skip it out on your debt. If you move the loan packet and the loan packet is on the lot after pace, placing it from the household inventory, it can be found in the household inventory again. No running away until it's paid. It is literally like that X. You know what I mean? It's like a booger. You can't shake it. It's crazy. And I love the fact that they're adding um, future updates so that you can actually get loans from the phones. So you get it, right? It's pretty cool. I actually really like how intricate it is now detailed as well. Oh. It's very simple. Oh, I'm not going to be able to show you everything. That's why I decided to go ahead and kind of like read the read the um, details off to you. But if, oh my God, poor thing. I didn't even realize our little one was up here screaming uh, their head off. Honestly, I don't care too much just because they're needed for a mod and nothing else really. But um, I'm going to have my Sim come upstairs really quick because she's the one who is in need of a little bit of assistance just because, you know, she wants to do some house renovations. She really don't have the money right now. So I'm actually going to have my Sim go and apply for a let's do a $10,000 loan. And we're going to go and make 12 payments to repay it. Um, she's a superstar she should have the money I mean not really she's actually in debt but you know what the bank doesn't know that so we're gonna go ahead um, and apply for this loan I'm hoping uh, that Rebecca over here can kind of like take care of the baby just for a split second while her mom goes and applies for this loan really quick I just want to show you guys that everything um, does work so here we go. I'm really intrigued to see what happens, even though I pretty much just read everything that happened, but I still want to see anyways. Um, so it says loan approved. Sim City Bank approved Caitlin's loan application. She must repay this loan plus 5% interest before taking out another loan. So there is the Sim City loan packet. This packet includes information regarding your $10,000 loan, including a payment coupon book to make and keep better track of your payments. You can destroy this packet when you pay off the loan so I can do make my payment for 875 um, or I can do a full repay of 10,000 million so if I pay it right now I don't think I will have to pay any more than that but let me just go and do a full repay and yeah look at that so it says debt paid congratulations Kayla has paid or Kaylid has paid off the debt to the Sim City Bank now that she is debt free she can destroy the loan packet in her inventory and so there we go how cool right that's just like a little glimpse of what your sims can do this is seriously savage i love that all right so that brings me to my next mod faux spooky day i was literally gonna write like <laughs> not real next to it just to be cheeky um so this next mod basically gives your sims the ability to have more costume options which i think is freaking amazing um and i like this because well i feel like the i feel like as it stands, when um, your Sims dress up for Spooky Day, they only have like five different options. And so depending on like what packs you have in your game currently, you'll have more options. Uh, so let me go and pull this up for you really quick, just so you can see all of the different types of added costumes. So for instance, this is uh, everything for the children. You've got different pirates, pumpkin head, different skeletons in random colors, skeleton of rot, uh, of fire and ivory, and uh, for teen, we have the Apocalypse Delinquent, which actually sounds pretty freaking cool. I'm actually going to try that one. We can do Fisherman from the Lagoon, Hospital Doctor, if you have Get Famous. So it seems like Get Famous is very important for this one. And also, with the brand new patch update, um, your Sims can now dress as robots. Remember that we got that costume? Well, this is kind of perfect to implement that in a way that actually fits, right? So I think, you know what? I was going to try the... Um, uh, apocalypse delinquent but a part of me also wants to see what the robot looks like because I've never ever 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 checked it out yet so we're gonna try uh, the apocalypse delinquent just to see what it Woo! looks like and I'm sorry but that is a pretty badass costume and it actually satisfied the tradition so we're gonna do another one just because I'm super duper curious uh, where is the robot so there's a pirate robot right here okay and there she goes passing out again like what are you doing uh, it is so annoying I hate 
complicated. Oh my god. So there's a little robot. That is so cute. I love it. It kind of gives me Jetsons vibes, but I'm going to go with the float on this one. So the very, no, actually not the very last mod. Um, the second to last mod is being able to reply to fan mail in the way that you want to reply to it. So unfortunately, my sim, which I really did try to make her famous and get fan mail, um, <laughs> But she hasn't received anything yet. So in order to be able to actually uh, reply to fan mail the way that you want to respond, um, you would need to be, I think you need to have the influencer perk. So if I had my sim here go into, where is it? Her simology, I believe. And then she goes down to fan points. You'll notice she is an influencer. So what I mean by you need to have the influencer perk is that basically you need to like have enough fan points to be an influencer on the uh, fame card. Does that make sense? I think it does. Kind of, sort of. It's a little hard to like, <laughs> you know, describe everything. Um, but basically, what this will let your sims do is once they get fan mail or fan letters, they can reply. So they can send a rude letter, nice letter, hilarious, um, all different sorts of types of things. And it actually depends on like what job they have. So they can re they can reply appropriately. And so say your sim uh, responded rudely, they would actually, I think, think they would get a bad reputation I believe um, and 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 also can decrease or in it can also decrease or increase your fame depending on your choosing um, you will also have new mood buffs your social motive will increase a little bit and you will gain some skills and other results so yeah you guys can read it and you can check it out but I thought that was really cool so you're able to get the files separated or all in one which essentially means I think in particular DLCs are required to be able to have all the options and so if you don't have every single pack that there is, then obviously you would need to be able to put in the ones that you do have. So you would want the separated version. If you had all of the DLCs, expansions and whatnot, then you would be able to get the all in one. Um, there's also some other like things that you might want to read in there. But I thought it was kind of cool. It feels like, I don't know, it gives me the ability to feel more connected to my fans. It also makes being a celebrity a little more intricate because you have more things that you can do with that startup. So the very last mod that I have for you guys was actually suggested by one of you guys a long time ago when it came to the 100 baby challenge. So it's very simple. It's a minor detail. Some of you guys might not actually deem it necessary. I personally think it's amazing. It's basically the ability to name your birth certificate. So if you are doing a 100 baby challenge and you have 100 <laughs> of these birth certificates, like all of them are going to look the same until you view them. Um, I believe just by nature, if you were to go and view the birth certificate, it will tell you who it belongs to. Now, this is what I've heard, um, but we're actually going to go and check it out just to see if that theory is proven true. So my sim is supposed to look at it and then it will just tell her who it is. But obviously hovering over it, it doesn't tell me at all. OK, so it does say it is certified that Bo is a healthy baby boy. But if you wanted to know that this one belonged to Bo, all you need to do is just write, you know, whatever it is that you would like to write. So I could just write you know Bo here and then whatever you know else like if I wanted to write his cri criteria like you know I don't know um five you know four pounds that's a really small baby by the way so like four pounds uh you know blah 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 whatever you know you wanted to like get you know detailed with it you could um and then when you actually go over the birth certificate it will hopefully say something that makes a little more sense so you guys long story short those are 10 mods I bet you didn't know about let me know which mods in the comments down below you had no idea existed and also let me know which ones you're going to be picking up because I really really do feel like some of these things are absolute freaking holy grails not to mention this is the longest freaking family reunion I have ever experienced I don't know how long it goes but it's kind of cool because if maybe you wanted to like have some spend the night or whatever the situation might be this is a good way to kind of make them stick around so um, again I will be linking everything that I mentioned mentioned in this video on my website at xurbinsons.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, you know what to do boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. We're still faking it. We pretend that we're good. Yeah. Cause of me, when I love, when I feel, I don't want nobody to tell me to slow down. Yeah, we're still faking it. We pretend.